Hello, naririnig ako. Okay, you can unmute if uh, you have any questions. Sorry, I think na wala yung audio ko. Um, I was saying um, we do have our chat box, so feel free to um, utilize it if you have any questions, uh, kahit within the session. Um, also, may if you want to um, ask uh, using uh, not using the the chat box, pwede rin po tayong mag raise hand, um, so we can discuss it. Um, I'm not sure if narinig nyo kanina. Um, my name is Christine Francisco. I'm the uh, country manager for Tikmil Philippines. And I, I do hope that by the end of the session, we will learn more about um, forex trading. So let me just share my screen. All right. So I hope uh, everyone sees my uh, screen clearly. All right. So before we uh, okay, wait lang po. Before we start the all right, thank you sir uh, Edgar. Um before we start the session, uh, I I just need the uh, to read on a quick uh, disclaimer from Tickmill. So first, Tickmill does not give financial advice. If in doubt, please seek independent financial advice. All comments stated in this webinar does not reflect, reflect the opinion of Tickmill as a company. Whilst this presentation has been um, prepared to the best of our knowledge, Tickmill will not be held liable for any inaccuracies or errors found in the documents. Risk warning. See if these are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 73% and 70% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with Tickmill UK Limited and Tickmill Europe Limited respectively. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take high risk of losing your money. All right, so um, let's begin. So forex trading, uh, risk management. Um, ano nga ba yung risk management? Uh, risk management is actually a very important um, part or integral part in your trading success. Without it, you might lose or blow up your account at some point. So I think uh, most of us uh, na mga nag-trade now, whether it's demo or live, have experience na masunugan ng account. So, today we will discuss ano nga ba yung mga pwede natin gawin to avoid that from happening. Okay? So, risk management will help us cut down losses and uh, it can ho also help us protect uh, a trader's account from losing all of his or her money. Okay? So what is risk in trading? Trading, is, trading risk is the amount you can potentially lose from a trade per um, from a trade or per trade. So ito yung uh, kung magkano ba yung posible nating uh, kasi ba pag nagte-trade tayo, hindi naman siya parating panalo, ba? So there is a possibility na magkamali tayo ng analysis, the market went against us at matalo tayo sa trade. So, with the risk management involved, pwede natin malimit yung mga um, errors na or mistake natin sa analysis ng market. So, uh, trading risk can be managed to minimize the amount you can lose from a trade. You can risk from any amount from 0.1 to 100% of your account. So, syempre po, no, it is not recommended that we risk 100% of our capital. Diba? Because if we do that, chances are we will just blow up our account. Okay. So, you also need to be able to understand the risk calculation in order to know how much you are risking um, in trading. So, 
um, dito po, uh, i-discuss din natin ano ba yung tamang position sizing pagka nagtitrade tayo. Okay? So next, um, stop loss. So to be able to know how much uh, to place for pip for your trade, to only risk a certain percentage of your account, you will need to have a stop loss. So again, kung wala tayong stop loss, um, we are actually risking the 100% of our account. Okay? So unless you put the stop loss um, in your trade, then that's it. You're, you're putting, uh, you're managing the risk. Uh, you're not allowing the market na ubusin yung buong account nyo. Katulad nito, um, I think everyone is, um, kung nagtitrade ka na, very familiar tayo sa image na to, di ba? So sabi nga nila, at times, pictures speak better than words. Kasi nga, without the stop loss, if you see that, halos bumagsak na sa alamesa niya yung market. So actually, ang um, Ano nangyayari ngayon for Euro USD, sobrang tumataas siya and golden, uh, dollar dollar is very weak at this uh, point. So si Euro at saka si uh, gold, sobrang tumataas sila. So if we don't have the stop loss in our account, chances are kung nakasell ka, you will have a negative position. Pwede siyang tumaas kung walang stop loss and can also... Um, lose yung account nyo. Pwedeng ma-burn yung account natin. Okay? So, ito. Position sizing. Um, if we're, your position size is actually determined by the number of lots and the size and type of lot you buy or sell in a trade. So, if you guys were able to attend our, our webinar, past webinars, uh, this month, we actually discussed kung ano nga ba yung micro lot, mini lot, standard lot. Okay, so say micro lot, it's 1,000 units of currency. And in the platform, if you're say the, say, saying you're trading micro lot, that's 0 0.01 na lot size or volume. Tapos si mini lot naman, that's 10,000 units or sa platform, that's 0 0.10. Okay. And the standard lot, that's 100 units. You're, if you're saving, you're trading uh, one lot, that's 1.00 dun po sa platform natin when we're trading. All right. Okay. So, we also, it's also very um, essential that we set our account risk limit per trade. So, ito yung uh, pinaka-importating step for the ter uh, determining forex position size. So, you have to set a percentage or a dollar amount na kaya mong i-risk on each trade. Now, I know a lot of you will say, um, I risk 10, 30% of my a capital because that happens. I, I see a lot of traders that does that. Ako rin po, um, guilty ako dyan. Um, the, the strategy that I use is uh, I'm not using this, but for most uh, traders, they for most professional traders, they risk uh, at most 1% of their account. So example, um, you have $10,000 trading account. So pag sinabi natin na I only want to risk 1% ng ng account ko, so 10,000, 1%, that's $100. Now, if you want to risk, uh, if you want to risk the uh, 0.5%, then you will risk $50 per trade. Okay. Alright, so you will risk uh, fifty dollars per per trade. So your dollar limit will always be determined by your account size and the maximum percentage you determine. Pero okay, yung example natin is ten thousand dollars. No, uh, I know a lot of us um, cannot start with a hundred thousand dollar trading account or a ten thousand dollars. Siguro um, a lot of people. Uh, actually, I have some clients na nakapag start na ng twenty fifty thousand dollars, but um. Majority, I have seen them starting with $1,000 or 
or uh, $5,000. Meron din na they start with a minimum $100. Okay, so uh, pag uh, kinuha natin yung 1% ng $1, I'm sorry, ng $100, then that's uh, $1. Ibig sabihin, kapag sinabi mo na, okay, I will only risk 1% limit, o sabihin na natin na, uh, uh, kasi this, it can be 1 to 3%. Sabihin natin 3% ng uh, limit natin. Uh, that's $3. $3 lang ng account ko ang pwede kong i-trade. Uh, ang pwede kong i-risk. So, going back, going back dito, um, di ba ang dollar value nito, uh, this is, ang per pip value niya is $10. This is $1 and this is 0.10. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kung sinasabi natin na magre-risk lang tayo ng, kung ang balance mo is $100 and you will risk 3%, that's uh, $3 of your account, of course, magte-trade ka ba ng 1 lot sa $100 mo? Hindi, di ba? Kasi ang per pip movement nito is $10 already. Okay, sige, pero parang kaya ng mini lot, which is 0.10. So, ang per pip movement niya is $1. So, ibig sabihin, kung if you do that and raise $3 of your account, that's 3 pips movement pa lang. Cut na yung trade mo. Kasi the capital is $100. You're risking 3%. So, dito pa lang, oh, uh, pag 3 pips pa lang na move, wala. Nag hit na agad yung stop loss. So, what we can do is ito lang. Dapat, yung ating balance at ang ating volume ng trades is always in proportion sa kung magkano yung account natin. So, with this, since point 0.10 lang yung per pip movement niya, this is more uh, possible to trade as opposed sa kung mag point 0.10 ka or mag 1.00. If you want to trade higher volume, kasi nga, di ba, pag mas malaki, mas malaki yung possibility na kumita ka ng malaki agad, then you have to fund your account ng mas malaki rin. Okay? Kasi pag uh, nagmadali tayong yumaman at nagmadali tayo na, okay, I, I need to prove these people na in one week madodoble ko yung account ko. Well, that's very probable in uh, forex trading. The question is, um, is it always consistent na yun ang kaya mong gawin? Okay, if this 1%, what is expected reward? Or what, uh, may question po pala. Uh, if this one, I risk 1%, what is the expected reward? Or what should be the reward of 1% risk? I would say um, most is 1 is to 3. So if we would risk 1%, uh, we can get a reward of at least 3%. Yun po sa, sa opinion ko, sir. Other people, they do 1 is to 1. Uh, uh, others do it 1 is to 2. Um, yung iba naman, 1 is to 5. Pero 1 is to 3 is okay na. Um, pag 1 is to 1 kasi, parang ibig sabihin nun, if you have, um, let's say, 5 possessions, pag ka nag 1 is to 1 ka at yung tatlo dun is natalo, ta dalawa lang yung tumama, uh, ang ending balance mo is negative pa rin. Pero kung 1 is to 3, yung risk-reward ratio mo, kahit dalawa lang yung tumama doon sa, sa trades mo at matalo yung tatlo, since the reward is more than what you risk, kikita ka pa din. Okay, may question po, Mr. Uh, Sir Socrates, what is micro lot, mini lot, and standard lot? Alright, sir, the, ito po is yung mga volume uh, volume ng tinitrade natin. So, halimbawa, meron po kayong siguro pinakamadaling explanation uh, sa trading. Kung meron kayong uh, manggahan at inanin nyo na yung mga kaing ng mangga nyo, so yung volume o yung lot size is depende. So, sabihin natin, marami kayong ani. Uh, pag sinabi mong gusto kong mag-trade ng one lot, that's 100,000 kaing ng mangga. So, mini lot is 10,000. Ang uh, micro is 1,000. So, mas, diba, pagka mas marami kang trinade na kaing ng mangga, let's say 100,000, mas malaki yung pwede mong kitain. Okay? 
Okay, moving on. So, ito, important, uh, most important uh, fact, uh, most professional traders risk at most 1% of their account. But I will say, a lot of these professional traders, malalaki na po yung account na hawak. Okay. And uh, just to share with you, Larry Height is a uh, fund manager. And um, sabi niya, he has two basic rules of uh, about winning in trading as well as in life. If you don't bet, you can't win. If you lose all your chips, you can't bet. So we can simply put it na kung hindi nga tayo if, uh, in trading, if we, if we don't trade, then we don't get anything. Pero if we trade and lose everything, then wala naman na tayo mawebet. So in essence, if we have risk management and we don't let to, to lose all of our chips, then we all have the, the opportunity to earn in this market. And, and tama rin po, I agree. Uh, this it, this does not work only sa, sa trading but also in life in general. Okay, so planning your trades. So I, I have here uh, si San Chu. So kung kilala po natin si San Chu, he is a Chinese general. Uh, he's a military strategist and uh, siya yung nagsulat nung um, he's a writer na the, uh, sulat ng Art of War. So, sabi niya, every battle is won before it is fought. Simply because you plan out. Hindi ka basta sumugod lang. Plinano mo. Ang entry mo, ang exit point mo, lahat plinano mo. So, uh, sa trading, accordingly, ang ibig niya sabihin din is you plan the trade and you trade the plan. Now, some people, they plan the trade, but they don't trade the plan. Kasi pag hinaluan na ng emosyon, medyo nawawala na yung diskarte. And uh, I think um, maraming tao medyo guilty rin dito. Kasi pag uh, the thing about trading is, especially if it's a real account, meron na siyang emosyon. ba? So pag nahaluan na ng emosyon, hindi na tayo nakakapag-decide based on how the market is moving. It's based on uh, kasi yung pinang ba, pinang capital ko dyan is pang, uh, pambayad namin ng kuryente. Paano na lang? Diba? So, mali, mali din po yun. We don't um, invest uh, something in the forex market na um, let's say uh, inutang o kaya uh, meant for something kasi dapat yung disposable income lang or disposable money lang natin or extra cash. Kasi this is an investment. Right. Sabi po ni Sir Socrates, trade what you are willing to lose. Hindi yung pagka natalo kayo, parang katapusan na ng mundo. Okay? Um, dapat ready pa rin tayo kasi in, in, in all aspects of investment and business, there are risks. Kahit naman yung typical na sari-sari store lang. Kung mag-lockdown at pinasara yan ng, uh, ng barangay. For example, dito po sa location ko ngayon, naka-lockdown kami. So, yung mga sari-sari store, nakas nakasara sila. So, in essence, wala silang kita. So, say, um, that's the risk. So, yung ibang paninda nila mag -e expire pero hindi sila, eh, hindi sila kikita. So, matatalo sila dun sa pinuhunan nila. So, same sa trading. It's uh, also an investment na may mga risk na kasama. So, dapat handa ka din dun. Okay. So next, um, of course, we uh, mentioned about the trading plan. So first, for the trading plan, you have to put it in writing. So dapat merong um, structure kung uh, ano ba yung iniisip mo. Um, for example, um, I will look uh, for trades from this specific support and resistance level. So ibig sabihin, um, if si Euro na reach niya na yung uh, kapag nakapag-establish na siya ng support since marami siyang break na resistance uh, saka ko ako papasok ng buy um, that's a sample and uh, next uh, how uh, your specific entry and exit orders will be triggered so you have to uh, put in your plan paano ka ba papasok at pag nakapasok ka na ilang pips movement uh, after you exit the trade saan mo ba ilalagay yung stop loss mo Malapit ba dapat sa entry price or should be at least 30 to 50 pips? 
or kung nag-move up pa siya, pwede rin naman tayong maglagay ng stop, take profit. ba? Diba? Um, ano ba yung targets mo? May uh, time delay ba? Anong klaseng trading ba ang ginagawa mo? Is it uh, a few hours? Uh, a few days? Gaano ka ba katagal nag-hold? Anong oras ka ba nagsisimula ng trade? Sabi na, if you have an 8 to 5 job, sabi natin, uh, available ka ng 7 p.m. So, doon ako magsa-start. So, um, those are the things na kailangan ilagay mo sa trading plan mo. So, at it also, the trading plan allows you to write your thoughts and analysis of the market. So, ano ba yung uh, setup ng market? What uh, support and resistance levels do you see? And what happens throughout the session or the trading week? Keep track of your analysis and your trade as the markets, uh, market trades throughout your time frame. Okay, another um, is, uh, any, is there any fundamental announcement, news, or release. So, al alam mo ba na uh, this week, ano ba yung mga data na lalabas? Uh, for example, if you're trading EURUSD, uh, you, have you checked kung meron bang release? Uh, if so, there, there is one. Uh, we have F FOMC meeting, which uh, will happen on Thursday, 2.30 a.m. sa oras natin. Okay, so those are the things na kailangan natin consider kasi that is a high impact news so possible siya na makaapekto sa trading mo. Mamaya nag-trade ka ng buy pa rin ng euro pero after the FOMC meeting, ma lumakas pala si dollar. So those are the things that you also have to consider when creating your trading plan. So for for Tickmill if you want to know those details, I know we have a lot of websites that we use, but in Tickmill, parang one-stop shop na siya for, broke, for a broker. So, we have our economic calendar. So, under lang siya sa client tools. Tapos, you can set yung oras po. So, our, we are at GMT uh, plus 8. Okay. Can you explain the difference between... Okay, may question po from Sir Victor. Um, can you explain the difference between 1 is to 1,000, 1 is to 500, and 1 is to um, 200? Okay, sir, I will answer that question after this one. So, this is uh, yung economic calendar. So, makikita nyo dito yung mga possible data at mga uh, ganap na mangyayari for the week. So, nakalagay rin yung impact niya, if it's, uh, whether it's low, medium, or high impact. So, pag high impact, uh, definitely nakaka-apekto siya greatly doon sa, um, sa pair na tinitrade nyo. Okay? Alright, just uh, a question on uh, a leverage. Okay. Sir Victor, the higher the leverage, the uh, mas expose yung account mo. So, pero ang, ang simple explanation ko lang, pag uh, ha. Pagka po ang account natin, ang leverage is 1 is to 100. At gusto mong mag-trade ng 1 lot na Euro USD. Dapat ang account mo ay may balance or margin na available na around 1 is to, I think, 100 plus. 1 is to 100, uh, 1,100 dollars. If less than that, you won't be able to trade. Ngayon, kung 1 is to 500, ang magiging margin requirement niya na lang is around, I think, 500 plus. Okay? So, kailangan meron kang at least $500 sa, na margin na available, free margin mo, para maka-open ka ng 1 lot. Now, if it's 1 is to 1,000, Sorry, ano pala to? 1 is to 100, nasa around 200 lang pala. Sorry. $200 lang po pala yung margin requirement. Nasa mga 234, I think, for one lot of Euro USD. Pag 1 is to 1,000 naman, um, that uh, requires at least, mas mababa siya. I, I don't have the exact figure kasi sa tikmil hanggang 1 is to 100 lang po yung leverage natin. But uh, the higher the leverage, mas maliit yung margin requirement mo per trade. Uh, mas marami kang trade na pwedeng open, but at the same time, yung account mo mas exposed. If, say for example, naka 
sell ka lahat sa Euro USD at nag sobrang tumaas siya, um, mas mabilis masusunog yung account mo. Pero pag mas maliit yung leverage mo, mas maagang nasa stop out yung account. Uh, I will have, by uh, next month po, we'll, we will set another introduction. Sir Victor, if you have time, you can also attend. Or uh, uh, we also have uh, recordings of the webinars sa YouTube. Uh, kung part po kayo ng Tickmill Group na Forex Traders Philippines, nandun din po yung mga links. And uh, if you have any questions or clarifications, you just let me know. Okay. May isang question po. Can you predict the news release through price action in the chart? Or you need to check and read the news on the same day? Mm, minsan po, pwede. Kasi minsan may mga, uh, Sir Joseph, may mga nag, uh, uh, biglang taas, biglang baba dahil dun sa mga uh, news. Pero minsan ang mangyayari na lang, sabi mo, ay tumaas or bumaba, ano kayang nangyari? So you will check yung economic calendar kung anong nangyari. Minsan na lang naman, may mga bigla ang movement siya, pero walang news. That happens. And I think, um, not sure if a few months ago or last year, may biglang malaking movement si dollar. Walang news. It's not news related. Meron lang isang hedge fund company na nagkamali at na-dump nila yung hawak nila na, na trade at naka-apekto yun greatly kasi malaking, uh, malaki ang account yung uh, hawak nila. So, us traders, we also affect the market. So, lalo yung mga um, hedge fund companies, nakaka-apekto din po sila. Okay? We'll update you, Sir Victor, sa next webinar date po. Okay, next. So five, is the risk reward sufficient for you to enter the trade? So yung um for this, uh, ibig sabihin ba, uh, ano ba yung range ng market? Uh, ranging ba siya? Uh, sorry, ano ba yung trend? Uh, ranging, is it trend? Ano ba yung uh, potential risk reward for your trade? Um, kung pasukin mo ba ito, uh, sa palagay mo ba, you will be rewarded enough uh, for the, the risk na, na gusto mong pasukin? So that also uh, that should also be included in your trading plan. Later on, sa psychology of trading, maroon akong sample ng uh, rule list na, na pwede nyong gamitin kapag gagawa na kayo ng trading plan. Kung ano ba yung uh, pwede nyong ilagay, ano ba yung dapat. Kasi um, these are more questions to yourself. Eh. You will have to decide for it. Nobody will do the de uh, will decide for you. Uh, you will have to decide. Kasi unang-una, Capital po natin yun. So, dapat tayo yung nagde-decide. Next, um, helps you to keep you calm and have a plan of attack. So, failing to plan is planning to fail. It's critical when you uh, are planning your trades. It's, it's as simple as getting a notebook at the corner store and uh, keep simple trading journal notes and be focused on your flawless execution of your trading plan. Um, it's also good na, halimbawa, meron tayong position na nagkamali tayo or mali yung analysis natin, we take note of it para lang maintindihan natin saan ba nagkamali yung trade. Is it the emotion? Did you come in too early? Uh, did you wait for the confirmation bago ka pumasok? Or nakita mo na kasi nasa support so gusto mo siyang makuha at the lowest possible price? Ganun po ba yung gusto natin gawin? So it's also good that we keep track of uh, those details. Okay. Next, uh, here we go. Sa psychology of uh, trading. All right. So, ito na. Um, sa psychology, this is more on emotions. Demo versus real account. So, hopefully, lahat po tayo nakapag-try naman ng uh, demo account. Hindi basta-basta sumugod sa, sa live. Kasi the thing about demo is, for demo account, you are actually um it's helping you to learn how the platform works diba pagka pinundot ko ba to ano bang mangyayari 
Um, pero if you really want to know the real market, you have to open up a real account. Kasi uh, pag demo account at negative ka ng let's say $10,000, okay lang yun. Kasi demo lang yan. Pero kung real account, negative ka ng $500, is that okay? Hindi, di ba? Kasi uh, totoong pera na yun. Sa pera natin, that's around 25,000 pesos. So, hindi siya okay. So, we'll, we'll discuss um, ano nga ba yung kaibahan. So, uh, pagka-demo, the quotes are the same. The factors affecting the price too are the same. Uh, one platform, same order, same system. Pero bakit um, often uh, the results are different? Ano kayang nangyayari? Bakit, uh, bakit ganun? Bakit iba yung, yung ang ganda-ganda ng demo ko eh? Nadoble ko agad in one week. Bakit pagdating ng live, parang nad, nasunog ko agad in one day? ba diba? So, um, nangyari ba yun sa inyo? Kasi in my uh, first ex experience na nag-real account ako, that's $100. And um, I have a demo account, I have a live account in my uh, mobile phone. Tapos nagtitrade ako sa demo at hindi ko na-realize na nag-switch ako sa live account. So pag-switch ko ng live account, nag-trade ako ng 0.50 lot on a $100 account. Tapos pagka-trade ko, nagulat ako kasi uh, real na pala siya. Ang ginawa ko, imbis na i-close ko siya, so dumating siya sa nag-negative, tapos nag-break even, pero nung nag-break even, ano nangyari sa akin? Emotion. Sinab greed. Ah, baka kumita ako sa pagkakamali na to, so tuloy ko na lang. So after noon, within one hour, naubos po siya. So that's real experience po. I know a lot of uh, people then may mga sarili-sarili silang experiences, pero uh, wag na hating ulitin. Okay. Pag okay, may question. Pag Sir Mel, pag malaki ba withdrawal haharangin sa amla ng bangko? Um I think for the Philippines, 500,000 yung uh, hindi naman siya haharangin, sir. Pero uh you parang may questions lang. And if you can prove na this is uh profit from forex then yeah they they can do that and good thing about tickmill we have local uh, payment partners so hindi po natin masyadong problema yan so sir joseph what if you are good in demo and not in live yeah you're right is opo oh, greed talaga sir kasi pag iisipin mo yung para ang bilis ng pera lang nito eh ganun kasi yun eh greedy gusto mong magmadaling umaman okay So the power of your mind. It's because the fact that you are investing a real money affects your trading decisions. Your mind forces you to trade differently. So kung sa demo pa chill chill ka lang sa real account, that's not the case. Kung sa demo kaya mong tingnan after three days, sa real possible na after three minutes lang titingin ka na naman, okay? Or ito check mo na naman yung platform. You start to feel scared or excited. And you feel other emotions, which are muted when trading demo. So your ego can be a huge obstacle. So, meron kasing mga traders na sabihen ba they they lost. Sabi nila, okay lang one wa in one day kaya kaya mabawiin. If there are times na magsusunod sunod yung losses yung sa trading, that's fine. What you can do is stop. Uh, take a breath, tapos kapag ka okay na ulit yung yung mind nyo, then saka kayo ulit pumasok. Okay? Hindi naman kailangan lagi kayo may open position. Mas masarap nga matulog ng walang open position eh, na lahat ng uh, trades mo nag-close na. Okay? Market teach you humbleness. It forces you to admit and recognize your mistakes that you can learn from them and never do them again. Okay, so I know a lot of traders, itong never do them again, hindi nangyayari kasi inuulit-ulit pa din. So let's learn from it kasi isipin nyo, uh, pagka natalo kayo sa real account, that's real money. Sayang eh. Uh, marami na rin naman kumi in the Philippines nakakatuwa kasi uh, I've been in this industry for uh, five years uh, in the Philippines. Mara nagsimula talaga sa maraming natatalo pero ngayon nakikita ko marami-rami na rin ang uh, kumikita and that's, that's very good. Kasi, di ba, 
sa atin sa, sa Philippines, um, it's as simple as just opening a trading account, funding it, uh, doing the trade, pwede ka na kumita ng uh, pera. You don't have to hire someone to work for you or establish a business para lang kumita. Okay? Next is, market is brutal in penalizing those who think they are infallible. So, yun nga, if uh, your ego is not your amigo, um, pag uh, pinil, sinabi mo na mas matalino ka sa market at uh, maiisahan mo siya, then this happens. Okay? Yes, from Sir John Eric, don't chase the market, let it come to you. Diba? Ang galing ng ano na to kasi may mga uh, quotable quotes uh, or motivational quotes ang uh, mga attendees. Alright, so uh, money and risk management. There are two most important issues, risk management and diversification. So in reality, it's very easy, but in practice, nobody wants to do it properly. Lower capital, you have higher risk. And um, that's stupid but true. Pero totoo po, pag mas maliit yung capital, um, mas mataas yung risk niya. If you have a, a huge uh, account or mas mataas na capital, uh, let's say than $100, then that's better for you. Pero if you have $100 and you're very patient, okay lang din po yun. Okay, I, I seen I've seen a lot of clients who tried yung thirty dollars na welcome account to take meal. Kung kung familiar po kayo, imagine that's um uh, thirty dollars. Ang maximum profit na withdrawable is one hundred, and they're able to withdraw it. So possible din yun. You don't have to uh, start a higher account. Uh, you just have to be patient and disciplined. Pagdating sa trading. All right. Um. Taxable ba ang gains sa forex? No, uh, in the Philip, ah, uh, ganto. In the Philippines, um, it's really up to you if you want to report it to BIR. Okay, uh, I'm not saying no, kasi pwede mo siyang report as earnings kung kikita ka, and you pay the taxes for it. But it's up to you. Okay. Next, who is the best trader you know and admire? Hmm. <coughs> Um, Sir Joseph, uh, best trader, uh, I would say I work with, uh, because I worked with Altari before. Um, yung analyst nila, which, uh, his name is Tomas. Uh, I like his strategy. Very simple. And, um, currently he's the one that I admire, uh, as a trader. All right. Next. So money management rules. When you open a position, you should always have two plans. One for the win, that's when, where, and how much. So, kailan, kailan ka papasok, saan ka mag -e exit tapos magkano yung uh, possible na profit. And B naman, pagka mali yung anal uh, analysis mo. So, there is always have uh, the plan B. So, this can be your stop loss. Okay, or uh, some people, pag ang ginagawa nila, if it, they're losing, they try to hedge. Okay. Next, you need to know when to exit the position before you open it. Okay, so yung trader, Tomas, uh, actually siya, pag nag-open uh, siya ng trade, before, pag open niya, ang siniset niya na is not the TP or take profit, pero yung stop loss agad. So, uh, the, the strategy that he has, if, uh, ang entry price niya, uh, inuuna niyang nilalagay yung stop loss, tapos pag nagtama yung analysis niya at nag-move up, uh, tumaas ng tumaas yung trade, maglalagay siya dito ng take profit, but it's uh, it's like stop loss, take profit, para kung bumagsak na yung market, mahuhuli niya, pero kung, kung hindi naman is, kung hindi naman is mag, uh, at kung magtuloy-tuloy siya pataas, then, i-move niya ulit yung stop loss take profit. So, ibig sabihin na ma-maximize mo yung galaw ng market. By the way, he's uh, a swing trader. Hindi po siya, he's not doing scalping. And the stop take profit will also work if long-term trader ka. Okay. Next, when the position is open, do not decide where or if I should open a stop loss order. 
uh, you cannot risk more than 2% on one trade. So some people, they say 1% to 3%, uh, some, but you can also do 2% or 1% to 3% max. Well, for me, you can do 3% max. Next trade, which looks like a sure bet for us, looks like that only for us, market does not care. So kapag sinab sinabi mo na, ah, sure na to, pagpasok ko, pataas naman na. Uh, walang pakialam yung market sa'yo, whether uh, that's your uh, point of view, gagalaw lang siya sa naaayon sa, sa movement ng, ng market, whether pataas siya, uh, e economic factors, pero wala talaga siyang pakialam sa emotion natin. Uh, it's really us who needs to manage our emotions. So, in trading, there is a random distribution of winning and losing trades, no matter what your trading edge is. Okay, so um, also, uh, you must be disciplined, ru disciplined, rules must be strict, and you should always obey them. So, sino po ba dito yung ano, may copy trade? Sino po ba dito ang uh, uh, guilty sa ito? Sa you should always obey them, no? So, say yes or hello sa, sa chat, sa chat box kung... Uh, Ano kayo dito? Isa kayo sa mga tinatamaan nitong disiplina sa trading. Nakapag sinabi na, okay, I've reached my target for today. Close ko na, hindi na ako trade Tapos ang mangyayari is since uh, matigas ang ulo, trade ulit, tas losing yung position. So may mga ganun po. Okay, some some people raise their hand. Uh, may question po, if we have copy trade in TechMill, Hopefully, very soon, maging available na siya. Um, but uh, we are in this, uh, ginagawa na siya kasi I know a lot of brokers has it. And si Tickbill also wants it. Okay, so antayin lang po natin um, na magkaroon. Uh, very soon, hopefully. Caught without, oh, ang daming guilty. And uh, some, what is the best recommendable bank, local and foreign, for deposit and withdrawal with less hassle on... Hmm. Sir well, actually for the Philippines, mahirap lang naman sila if uh let's say bank wire ang gagamitin mo, pero we have Dragon Pay and GCash. Uh I guarantee you hindi ka naman magkaka problema. Okay. Uh all right. Wait lang po. Um some questions we will discuss uh later. Okay, let's go back. Um uh, money management. Sometimes you are going to think about breaking th those rules but just one more time do not do it weak mind can destroy the best system and the best best money management program so ibig sabihin if you have a working strategy but then you don't uh, follow the rules or you don't uh, be strict about them or you gumawa ka ng rules mo pero hindi mo naman sinusunod wala rin so sayang yung system mo sayang yung money management mo kung uh, nag-work man siya at hindi mo naman pinafollow. So it's very essential that we follow it. Alright. So ito na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Yung uh, so when making a trading plan or yung rule list, ano ba yung dapat niyang uh, uh, how does it look like? So uh, first, trend is your friend. Open only positions with trend. So sabi nga nila, your trend is your friend. Until it ends. So use trend corrections to open position with uh, better prices. Candlestick formations. Ano ba yung uh, currently formations ng candlestick? Um, nag double bottom ba siya? Uh, na double top ba siya? Ano ba yung pwede kong maging position? So we, you can also uh, look at this. Uh, you can also uh, use them only on important support and resistance levels. Do not exceed more than 2% or 3% loss on capital per one trade. After three losses, double down the position. Once the position is on a green side or a risk reward ratio, uh, change the uh, stop loss. So, ito yung sabi ko kanina. Kung Kung pataas yan, nabawa, nakabay kayo here, tapos tumaas pa siya. So instead na yung stop loss mo nandito, you can move it here. Para kung halimbawang bumagsak siya, ma, sasalo nyo na to. 
Pero kung magtaas-taas pa, uh, kung mag-continue siya sa uptrend, you can move the stop loss here o kung hanggang, yung, hanggang saan man siya abutin. So that will lock in the profits for you. Um, you can only use only higher time frames, uh, H4. So this works if you're a uh, swing trader. But, um, but you can also use uh, H1. H1 pataas. Ako, uh, as a trader, I use H1 uh, pataas. But I see some traders, they're using 15 minutes and it works for them. So depende naman sa, sa atin. Um, is candlestick better than bar chart? Um, yes. For me po, kasi yung mga... Uh, for price action, mas makikita mo clearly yung uh, movement ng market at yung mga formation na, nagaga, na nangyayari. Next question, is it ideal to uh, set the stop loss at the support? Mm, okay lang, sir. Kung halimbawa, ang, uh, for example, uh, for the stop loss, sabi natin, this is your position, tapos... Ang pinaka support is ito, pwede rin naman. Basta hindi yung ito yung stop loss mo, ito lang din yung entry price mo. Huwag masyadong malapit kasi ang market can move from 100 pips pataas. So kung sobrang lapit niyan, mahihit at mahihit lang yung stop loss mo. So not too close. So four positions a week per max, uh, quality over quantity. Yes, this is right kasi uh, especially if you don't have so much time uh, na nakata nakatutok lang sa platform, uh, mas maganda na kahit mas konti lang yung trade mo, kung uh, mas ma uh, quality over quantity, konti lang yan pero yung mga kinaklose mo na profit is malalaki, then at the end of the day, uh, profit ka pa din. So another sample ng rule list, do not invest on Fridays and etc. So a lot of traders, they don't do it pagka Friday. Kasi pag inabutan ng weekend yung trade, nagkakaroon ng mga gap. Um, those, uh, minsan din pag Friday, medyo volatile yung market. So if you can clear out your trades uh, during Friday, then that's better. Alright, so that is a sample of a rule list. So, okay, questions. Pwedeng maging IB sa Tikmil? Yes, uh, Sir Anonymous. <laughs> Pwede po. Everyone is welcome to become an IB. Actually, sa Tikmil maganda kasi we don't have a lot of rules for you to get uh, your IB profit. So, you don't need to have at least 13. Yung iba kasing clients, ay sorry, ibang broker, kailangan may tatlo ka ng clients na ma-refer. So, wala naman tayong ganun, sir. Um, may client ka ba na million or billion ang kita sa Forex na Pinoy? Meron akong client. Million naman, sir. Hindi pa ako nakaka-meet ng billion. Hopefully, makamit ako. But yes, million. Uh, he's, he's trading for, for clients and one time commission lang niya, he earned one million. So, good for him. Alright. So, this is a fridge pattern. So, ano, ano ba ibig sabihin ng fridge pattern in Forex? So, yung fridge pattern, di ba, karamihan sa atin, uh, when you open the fridge uh, or yung ref natin, nakita mo na yung laman. Alam mo na kung ano yung laman. Unang tingin mo, wala kang gusto. Tapos after 5 minutes, bumalik ka na naman, tinignan mo na naman. Pero wala naman, wala naman nagbago doon, di ba? Same pa rin naman. So, same sa trading. Uh, halimbawa, if you look at the charts, nakita mo walang trading opportunity. So, you close it. After a few minutes, babalikan mo na naman kahit wala. Hanggang sa mag-decide ka na pumasok sa trade nang wala naman sa plano. And uh, that's it. Good for you if uh, maganda yung pasok mo, pero kapag uh, negative ka, di, wala, wala na naman sa plano. Talo ka na naman. Okay? So, Niall Fuller and his two great examples of successful trader. So, you see here, we have a sniper and a crocodile. So, ano po ba yung... Um, uh, what is common between these two? Patience. That's right, Sir uh, Socrates. Patience. So, yung sniper, hanggat hindi niya na-insure na naka-lock yung target, um, hindi siya mag-fire. Si Crocodile naman, hanggat hindi niya na-insure na yung target niya is makukuha niya, hindi siya a-atake. Okay? Yes, Sir Mel, patience is a virtue. 
So in the, this is uh ito hindi ni hindi sila parang si Rambo, 'di ba? Kilala natin si Rambo, 'di ba siya? Basta baril lang ng baril, bahala na kung sinong tamaan. So do you want to be a sniper or a Rambo in trading? Na basta oh, sige, buy lang, sell lang, 'di ba? Or do you want to be a sniper na uh, you will ensure na yung pasok mo is you have the confirmation that that's the best position uh, for you to take right now. Okay, you can, uh, you have the option to be a market predator like the crocodile in the animal kingdom. Okay. Next, uh, how you will uh, also avoid, avoid the losses. So, actually, the real question should be how to deal with losses. Kasi hindi mo naman talaga ma-avoid yung losses. Losing is part of the game. ba diba? Sa trading, imposible na walang trader na walang talo. Because that's not how it works. Kung lahat po tayo ay nananalo sa trading, siguro marami ng uh, mayaman sa trading. Okay? So next, uh, we have a question. Uh, any suggestion on pullback trading, uh, Sir John? For pullback or sa, sa retracement, for me, um, if it's a long-term trade or uh, if you're looking at the, the trend of the market, you can set uh, FIBO, na, FIBO, you can use Fibonacci levels to check kung uh, nag-retrace na ba siya and then you can enter the, the trade pagka uh, retrace. Anonymous, bakit mas nire-recommend ng mga brokers ang long-term kesa short-term range? Wala pong pattern sa short-term short term time frame actually no sa mga brokers po no um uh, it's it's up to the clients on how to uh, how, how, how they will do the the trading um some professional traders they're looking at the long term kesa doon sa mga minimal movements ng 15 minutes na time frame so kung actually kung magsa-scalp kayo yung mag-trade kayo ng mag-trade mas okay sa broker yun kasi remember the cost that you're paying to your broker it's not actually it, it's actually the um, every time na magte-trade kayo. So, kung mas konti ang trade nyo, mas konti yung kita ng broker. Okay. May patterns din naman sa short-term time frame. Kasi when you, for the candlestick patterns, kahit sa ang time frame naman, makikita nyo yun eh. Alright. So, losses are just part of a plan. Cost of running your own private hedge fund. The uh, losses are just part of bigger winnings. Do not limit the number of losses, but focus on the amounts. Make the average winning higher than the average loss. So, hindi po ibig sabihin, nalabaw, when you're trading in a week, meron kang 20 trades. Um, only 5 of those trades ang winning. Uh, yung 15, puro po siya losing trades. But the thing is, Magkano ba ang na-close mo dito sa sa 5 trades na to? 'Di ba? Kung mas mataas naman siya, uh, the, on this 15 trades, then uh, that's better. Okay? Kasi ibig sabihin, uh, again, going back sa risk and reward ratio, mas malaki pa rin yung kinita nyo. Actually at the end of the day, uh, siguro ito na lang ko yung sa experience ko. At the end of the day, kahit mag-close ako ng mas maraming negative, actually if I, let's say I have 5 open positions, Tatlo doon negative, dalawa positive. Pero kung ang total amount niya is positive, I will close it. Okay lang yun sa akin. Iko-close ko siya kaysa antayin ko na mag-positive yung tatlo. Kasi importante na mas malakin mo yung profit. Okay, question. Is it true that only 4% of the retail trader like us and the rest are the big companies who really control the market? Siguro po yung... Uh, equity share kasi syempre yung mga malalaking companies mal, uh, central banks and the banks uh, mas malaki yung hawak nilang kapital tayo maraming retail traders pero yung yung mga kapital natin is not as much as these companies and the traders are also part of the um uh, isa rin tayo sa nagpapagalaw ng market so pag sinabi kong the traders not just us pero uh, other participants din in the market Okay. Pero I'm not sure po dun sa 4%. Um, yun nga, before kasi parang more than 90% are losing money. But as I notice, mas marami na talaga ang 
kumikita ngayon. Even uh, with um, with robots, uh, mas nagiging matalino na sila. Alright, Los losses. Normally, you should not be mad at the fact that you need to buy a paper to your company or a fuel to your company car. Uh, losses and uh, and winnings come together. Loss is a result of the fact that you have opened yourself for a new opportunity to win, but this time you pick the wrong side. Let's be honest. Uh, market is always right. You have no grounds to think that you can be smarter than the market. If you think that you cannot just be wrong on such huge market, you are wrong. Make them small and not lethal. One loss cannot hurt you or cannot disrupt your plan or distort your trading approach uh, approach otherwise your trading system is done and so are you pwede ba ang hedging or yes po uh, uh, hedging and arbitrage pwede po sa platform ni tikmil okay so one more time you can have the best system in the world but you won't be able to use it properly as your mind will not allow you to do so next trade is a win or loss you never know you never can be sure okay kasi nobody can predict the market if merong makakapag-predict ng market or if we can predict the market di mas ano na mas marami na sigurong mayaman we can only uh, we can only do educated uh, analysis or educated guess What is your uh, question for from Sir Edgar? What is your stand or advice regarding to big players manipulation like stop hunting? Actually, it happens po no. Um, siguro you just have to pick the right broker. But that happens. I cannot uh, really say that it does not happen. Pero totoo po yun. I've experienced it with uh, other brokers. So make sure lang na you choose the right broker. Uh, if you trade with Tickmail, you can observe. If you can also have more than you can have more than one broker, but yes, ganun sir. Yeah, it really happens. You just have to pick the right one. At uh, bantayan yun lang. Nagaka slippage ba? Normal na ba? Nagaka slippage ba si Tikmil? Question. Yes, ang slippage po is normal for all brokers. Alright, do not overtrade. Stick to your system. It's a sh it's not a shame to be without a position for a week. Ito yung sinasabi ko na minsan para tayong kating-kate to, to enter a trade, kahit wala naman tayong nakikitang opportunity. O kaya naman, sabihin natin, sayang, pagpasok na ako sa trade or mag-buy na ako ngayon kasi ang baba eh, um, at least kapag ako, pera na akong ikita ako. Okay? Those, those uh, psychology, uh, that's, those will not work. Be like a sniper and a crocodile. Go only for sure bets, but keep in mind that they can fail too. Do not risk much. Risk only, ito nga, sabi natin kanina, di ba? Risk only the money you can afford to lose. Alright. Um, question, what are the benefits in having two or more brokers? Um, for me, diversification. You just, um, they, di ba nga, sabi ni uh, the great Warren Buffett, you don't put all of your eggs in one basket. So diversification, that's my answer. Next, you should be emotionally free to the potential loss. Okay? Huwag nating iyakan yung mga losses. It can happen. Pero if we don't manage it, we can really lose a lot in this uh, type of market. Okay? So, questions? I think nasagot naman natin lahat ng questions. Uh, anonymous at any tips on how to diversify portfolio um, percentage invested per company or how many companies should I hold sir um, we're not trading companies per se but uh, we are a forex broker so we have um, futures currencies and um, uh, crypto pero uh, we also have uh, oil um, tsaka mga spot metals Okay. Now for sa itong tanong mo, how many companies should I hold? Siguro sa pag sa trading, I always advise um, newbie traders na pag magte-trade, focus muna sa isang pair. Huwag masyadong marami. Bawa, nag-aaral ka pa lang tapos meron ka ng 10 
pairs na tinatrade. Huwag ganun. Focus ka man sa isa. EURUSD, kasi yun yung most commonly traded. Observe the market. Uh, check mo paano siya nag-work. Then, saka ka na mag-jump in sa ibang assets. Okay? Next, gaano, sir, next question, Sir Mel. Gaano nakadami robot sa platform nyo? And ano win rate nila? Um, for the Philippines, I can't talk about other countries, but for the P Philippines, I have uh, different clients who offers uh, EA. So, iba-iba po yung performance. Um, there are some na profitable, and there are some na, to be honest, na tatalo din naman talaga. Kasi at the end of the day, there's still robots. Okay? So, mas maganda pa rin na kapag uh, mag, na alam nyo how the market works. Hindi basta nag-invest, iniwanan na lang basta. Okay. Next question from Sir Socrates. I recently became interested on in trading. I am a beginner. Is there any free ebooks about trading, not just books? Any learning materials I can use to set my basics on trading? Uh, yes, Sir Socrates, we do have it. I hope um, you're part of our uh, group in Facebook. It's called Forex Traders. Um, uh, Forex Traders Philippines. Para makita mo yung mga ebooks na sinishare ko and also mga videos na um, webinar videos na yung mga recorded videos natin para ma makatulong sa pag-aaral mo. And personally, if you have questions, you can uh, PM me. Uh, here's my Facebook details. Uh, you can contact me via this method. Okay? So, another question. Since you mentioned about time frames kanina, how do you look at the market from lowest to highest uh, time frame or the other way around? Ako po, um, most people, they say, most of the, the professionals, they say dapat from the top, uh, monthly pa baba. Okay? Since ako, uh, I'm not really doing a lot of swing trades. I, I check at the H1 kasi nagsiscalp din ako. Pero even if I'm scalping, I don't go below uh, H1. Tapos, kapag uh, I, I need to look at the longer trend of the market, then I, I go higher time frames. H1, H4, D1, week 1. But not so much on monthly. Kasi hindi naman inaabot ng months yung trade ko. Minsan lang, uh, pinakamatagal na na-hold ko na position is 3 months. That's US, uh, USDCHF. Next, uh, gaano ka ni spread nyo compared to other brokers? Okay, this one I love to answer. Kasi si, si Tickmill is actually um, the lowest cost broker you can find. So we have the pro account which offers spread from 0, 0.0 at yung uh, commission natin is at 4 euro. So some brokers, they have the zero spread pero ang commission that you pay is around $20 or $7. Sorry. But for Tickmill, it's only for uh, euro per lot. Okay. So there, do you have any uh, any more questions? All right. My limit ba sa withdrawal amount of times? Um, wala namang uh, limit. Uh, you can withdraw kung, kung gaano nyo. Uh, walang limit on how many withdrawals you can make. But the amount, halimbawa, if you use the the Dragon Pay or GCash, the max is 140,000 pesos. That's per transaction or per withdrawal. So, sabi natin, kumita ka ng isang million, kailangan mo siyang withdrawin, then you can do parang parte-parte. Or if not, you can do bank wire. Okay? Alright. So, if we don't have any uh, more questions, uh, just take note of my details. Pag uh, meron po kayong questions, sabihin nyo lang. And this uh, webinar is recorded, so we'll definitely have it uploaded dun sa Tickmill YouTube page. So, thank you po. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Mel. Uh, thank you, Sir Socrates. To everyone, Sir John, Eric, Joseph, uh, Ed, Sir Edward. To everyone, Sir Ruel, um, Steph. Uh, to everyone who participated uh, in this webinar, I I'm really happy na very... Uh, um, interactive yung ating session today and uh, I hope to see you sa mga future webinars natin. Thank you po. Sir Dan, thank you din.